Hi guys! <laughs> so we are doing the couples tag and Steven finally agreed to do a video with me even though he doesn't want to. So give him a thumbs up for that. Um, I don't know if some of you may not know him. He's in most of my vlogs, only little bits and pieces because he works all the time. But this is Steven, my husband, and we've been together for... We were just talking about this. I'm bad and I can't remember dates and stuff very well. But I'm pretty sure that this will be like our big 10 year anniversary in June. We've been together for 10 years and then we'll be married for four. So yeah. We're just going to get right into this tag because I want to make it uh, just a quick video. There's only 10 questions and I thought they were kind of funny. So yeah. So the first question is, if your spouse could be married to a movie star, who would it be? Do you want to go first or do you want me to? No, you go ahead. So, could be married to a movie star. Who do I think that you think is, like, hot? Probably Sophia Bush. That <laughs> <laughs> off of One Tree Hill. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot that you liked her. Who would you think that I'd want to be married to? I'd have to say Vin Diesel. You're always goo goo over him. Vin Diesel? Well, Vin Diesel is one of my top picks, but you should know. Channing Tatum. Yeah, but you're always... <laughs> but Vin Diesel, his voice is like... <sighs> Alright, we had a little bit of a camera malfunction. The thing that we had, it like propped up, it like fell. So anyways, moving on. Um... Okay, so if your spouse could be a celebrity, who would it be? Question number two. Um, I think you'd want to be like The Rock. Because he, cause he's got like big muscles and he's like huge. I could live with that. <laughs> you could, plus he's rich and I think you'd like that too. <laughs> um, I'd have to say... Uh, What's her name from Sex in the City? Because you like... Oh, Sarah Jessica Parker? clothes. Because she's got, like... <laughs> well, in real life, she's not really like that. But if I could be her, like, as Carrie from, yeah. like... Yeah, then totally. I love her, like, clothes and shoes. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. <laughs> um, okay, number three. You've gone to 7-Eleven to get milk and decide to buy your spouse a treat. What would you buy? One thing you always want is a Slurpee. <laughs> Slurpee. Yeah, I love me some Slurpee. Not lately because we're dieting, but yeah, if I could have anything from Seb, that's probably what it'd be. Especially when I'm pregnant. <laughs> I drink a lot of Slurpees. You've made a lot of Slurpee runs yeah. pregnant. <laughs> um, if I could buy you something from 7-Eleven... I don't know, you like Slurpees too. But probably like a chocolate bar or something. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that would work. Or some candies, five cent candies. Yes, I love five cent candies. <laughs> um, number four, what percentage of housework would you say your spouse says that they do? So what do you think I would say of percentage of housework that I do? I'd say you'd say about 99%. 99.999. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably right. I think that you would probably say that you do, like, like, 30%. That's it? <laughs> well, I mean, housework, you don't really do a whole, although, yesterday, you helped me, like, scrub our house, like, pretty good. Yeah. So that was pretty good, but on a normal basis, you don't really do that. Yeah, I do. No, not really. And it's always at night. <laughs> I have like a weird thing where, <laughs> where I like to clean at nighttime. It's weird. But yeah. You do like a lot of like outdoorsy things, but not really housework. 30% is pretty generous. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. If your spouse could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? So, if your spouse could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? So if you could choose one thing for me to get rid of, what would it be? 
Mine's easy. I would pick smoking for you. Your phone. <laughs> My phone. <laughs> You're on it 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's true. But would you really want me to get rid of it? trying to talk to you and you're like this you're the same way with your ipad <laughs> you try and say that it's me who's addicted but that thing goes into the toilet with you and you spend like an hour saying that you're pooping yeah. when you're not <laughs> oh okay so number six what is your spouse's most repeated sentence or phrase you go first well when my cousin comes, it's dude. <laughs> dude. Yeah, we always call each other dude. Don't matter what, dude. <laughs> but I don't really say that but unless dude. around. <laughs> I don't know why. We've just always done that. For you, it's I'll decide. <laughs> if I ask him like something or tell him like, oh, we're going to go do this. And he'll be like, I'll decide. <laughs> <laughs> um... Number seven, what is your spouse's most used cuss word? I swear a lot. I really do. But you kind of do too sometimes. Our son even copies. Yeah. I've accidentally said it in front of him. A few F-bombs. <laughs> so do you say the F-bomb yes, is my the most -bomb. used word? <laughs> you wouldn't think it just by looking at me, but I actually do swear more than I should. I'm um, driving. You're... I don't know... <coughs> you say the F word quite a bit too. That's just playing games. Yeah, I'd say both of us is probably the F bomb. Okay, number eight. What is your spouse's ultimate favorite movie? That's a hard one. Your ultimate. I'm, mine's probably easy. You got a couple. Sex in the City. That's not really. And well, Sex Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. <laughs> my like ultimate favorite movie you like those i do i do you but... gotta go out and buy all of them <laughs> I, honestly though my ultimate favorite movie is probably like twilight or something well yeah besides those yeah yours is hard like what kind of movie is like your ultimate like some kind of war movie probably yeah i like those but like what would you say is your favorite movie of all time mm. Or like something like 300 or something. 300 I like. It's yeah. really good. I'm going to say 300 would probably be your ultimate favorite movie. Um, Number nine. A meteor just hit. You've saved everything important. What would your spouse go back to get? This is so easy. You'd go back for your, like your Xbox or your PlayStation. <laughs> All your video games. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, you'd probably either be shoes, clothes, purses, and it wouldn't be your phone because you'd already have it. <laughs> but I didn't have it though because that's not necessarily important. Oh, and important. the dogs. And the dogs. Well, the dogs are classified as important. So if everything important was saved. Mm. So yeah, probably like my. She'd have to have sunglasses. My makeup, my sunglasses. <laughs> My clothes, for sure. I don't know if that would be classified as important or not. But All right, last one. Number 10. They, the saying opposites attract is true because me and my spouse are opposite at... Driving. <laughs> Driving. Road rage. <laughs> you get road rage sometimes. I don't lay on the horn like you. <laughs> no, he'll be like, you'll be driving and somebody will like cut you off and I'll be like reaching over to like honk your horn and be yeah. like, honk at him. <laughs> She'll follow a person honking the horn. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've got road rage. I would say just like basically our opposites are like, you are like really cool and collected and you don't get mad easily. You almost never yell. And I have, like, short fuse, and I <laughs> snap pretty quickly. <laughs> I snap pretty quickly, so you balance me out and, and calm me down. I know. <laughs> We're good for each other. Yeah. But anyways, that was our couple's tag, and uh, it was pretty fun. So if you guys do this video, you should um, let me know so I can check it out. And, yeah. 
this is getting on to be kind of longer than I wanted it to be. So we will see you in our next beta video tomorrow. Bye. I'll decide. <laughs>